month of Cheshvan, no holidays, and Elul. If you look at the geometria of the month of Elul, Mispar Katan, which means in singular digits, Aleph, Lamed, Vav, Lamed, in singular digits, without a zeros, we get to the number of 13. Elul, in a singular digit, digit it's a matter of 13. What else do we find number 13 in the Torah? If you look at the word Ahava, love, is also the geometry of 13. How do we make, create love? When, you, when two people or many people become like one, Echad. Echad is also number 13. So the month of Elul itself hints is 13. Ahava, love, is 13. To make a love, we have to be like Echad. Ish Echad, Lev Echad, one nation together. Shema Yisrael Hashem, Anakin Hashem Echad, we are all united. I know we have, we all know that we have 613 mitzvot. And if you look at the Sephora mitzvot, what is the 13th mitzvah in the Torah? Ba'afta? Larecha Kamocha. You should love your fellow Jew. The month of Elul has no holidays. But the biggest holiday is, is we become Echad, one, through Ahava, Va'afta Larecha Kamocha. Because we could go through the Slichot, waking up extra early, doing extra mitzvot, extra reading of Tehillim. But if there's no Ahava, unity doesn't help us much. Now, in the Shira Shirim, we all know Ani, uh, ani le dodi ve dodi li. Elul. What is the next word? Everybody says, Ani le dodi ve dodi li. What comes next? Ani le dodi ve dodi li haroe ba shoshanim. I am to my beloved one, and beloved is to me. Found among the roses. Haroe ba shoshanim. Found among the roses. If you ever pay attention to the roses, you know how many petals does it have? The rose itself. It has exactly 13 petals. I am to my beloved one, and beloved one is to me, found among the roses, surrounded by the roses. Roses has 13 petals on it. What else do we have 13? 13 attributes of the mercy. That's what we use the most. On the month of Elul, we use a lot of Yavor, Hashem, Hashem, Malpanav. The 13 attributes of the mercy. Rabotai, there's no holidays, but the greatest holiday is what we united because we have to be like one. What was the success of the Noah generation? Success of Noah himself and his family, they all united. Noah woke up in the morning and said, I had a dream. We have to build an ark and save ourselves. Imagine if the wife, his wife would say, go back to sleep, dream again, or the kids would not support him. This, the humanity would never be saved. The fact that we're one united family, Noah got support by his wife, and the children supported them also, they were able to get saved. And even the animals were united also in the Ark of Noah. If they would fight, they argue, you right, I'm right, you wrong, this is my spot, this is my book, this is my seat, the whole Ark would turn over. Unity, together. One of the most hardest things is the unity. Unity, unity, unity. We have to be united. That's what we learned from the Mount of Elul. To be united, to be strong. There's no holidays, but the biggest holiday is just to be united together. Everybody should have a blessed day.